Boston tourists made Guam their destination of choice for the month of June, and the forecast is looking even better for the rest of the year. Guam Visitors Bureau Deputy General Manager Nate DeKnight says the Japan market remains strong, but we should expect an increase in Korean tourists now that Jeju Air has signed on as a signatory airlines at the Guam International Airport. That's going to really help uh, uh, make the market more competitive. Um, a Korean Air and a, and a Jin Air will have to compete a little bit harder, so that means prices will go down. So we're looking at a good year from, uh, from Korea as well for next year. In addition to a growth in Korean visitors, DeKnight says the Filipino-targeted Got to Go to Guam campaign continues. Currently close to 12,000 Filipinos visit the island, many of who travel to Guam for shopping, especially in November right before Christmas. Taking it up a notch, GVB has plans to promote Guam as a shopping destination. We're actually going to be launching another campaign, a global campaign promoting shopping in Guam. Uh, in all of our major markets. So that's going to be our first uh, uh, stab this year at, at doing a global campaign. So it's going to be going on in Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Philippines, Russia. With the approval of the Russia visa waiver, DeKnight reports the highest number of Russian arrivals for the month of June at 374 tourists. Despite delays, GVB remains hopeful for the approval of the China visa waiver. China visa waiver, um, we're still pushing hard. Our, our, the governor and our congresswoman are working hard in Washington trying to lobby for it. Uh, uh, right now, it's with, uh, of course, it's with um, Homeland Security, so hopefully we hear soon, uh, especially before the presidential race um, re really starts to heat up, that we, that we hear about whether we get it or not. But uh, all signs look positive, so um, we're just kind of uh, in a wait-and-see mode. Here at home, GVB is working to remind Guam residents that the island is a tropical paradise with its Rediscover Guam campaign. So we have our brand. Uh, brand logo and we wanted to kind of explain people the, the symbolism behind the different elements of the logo because uh, a lot of people didn't know. So we were talking about the colors of the logo, you know, which symbolize the, you know, the yellow for the warmth of our sun and our people and the, the blue of our, our, our sky and sea and then we have green for our natural environment and then the brown, you know, for our land and also to represent the Chamorro cultures. To further promote the unique Guam culture, the Guam Visitors Bureau continues to sign up businesses and organizations to take the Hafiday Pledge. Already 300 have signed up. That's over 20,000 employees and growing. To sign up today, call 646-5278. That's 646-5278. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.